In today's tutorial, we will have a closer look at the diazotization Oh, this is the reaction to form such a diazonium salt very often with an arrow group which can stabilize this diazonium salt. So, AR is the abbreviation of an arrow group. First step is the formation of a nitrosyl cation as the reactive agent. And usually we start from sodium nitrite, for instance, with hydrogen chloride, two equivalents, then the nitrosyl chloride is formed plus sodium chloride and one equivalent of water has been formed. This nitrosyl chloride easily dissociates into its ions, the nitrosyl cation, which is mesomerically stabilized, and the chloride counter anion. So the nitrosyl chloride is capable, for instance, to, re to react with anilines. Nitrosyl chloride, nitrosyl cation as the electrophile will attack at the free electron pair of that anilino functionality, the primary amine. And then this cation is formed an ammonium salt if we eliminate HCl, then we get to this structure, which is a so-called nitrosamine. Plus HCl will then, in equilibrium, protonate at the oxygen, since then, again, a mesomerically stabilized system is formed. If we again in equilibrium eliminate HCl, then we will get to this structure. And now please keep in mind if we compare this structure and that one, those are clearly tautomers. Last step in this process is again a protonation. Well, if we pro would protonate here, then it would react again to this intermediate, the stabilized intermediate. However, every now and then, also at the OH group, it will be protonated, then water is eliminated, and this finally leads to our diazonium salt here with chloride as counter anion. And with this reactive intermediate, well, it's not a reactive intermediate, it is stable and you can fill it up. Well, but it is reactive against electron rich aromatic system will then perform an electrophilic substitution, finally uh, leading to diazo dyes. Thanks for listening.